Paleoecology, Wikipedia article audio. Paleoecology is the study of interactions between organisms and slash or interactions between organisms and their environments across geologic timescales. As a discipline, paleoecology interacts with, depends on, and informs a variety of fields including paleontology, ecology, climatology and biology. Overview of Paleoecological Approaches Major Principles Paleoecological Methods Quaternary Applications of Paleoecology Paleoecology emerged out of the field of paleontology in the 1950s, though paleontologists have conducted paleoecological studies since the creation of paleontology in the 1700s and 1800s. Combining the investigative approach of searching for fossils with the theoretical approach of Charles Darwin and Alexander von Humboldt, paleoecology began as paleontologists began examining both the ancient organisms they discovered and the reconstructed environments in which they lived. Visual depictions of past marine and terrestrial communities has been considered an early form of paleoecology. While the functions and relationships of fossil organisms may not be observed directly, scientists can describe and analyze both individuals and communities over time. To do so, paleoecologists make the following assumptions. The aim of paleoecology is to build the most detailed model possible of the life environment of previously living organisms found today as fossils. The process of reconstructing past environments requires the use of archives, proxies, and chronology dating of events in the archive. Such reconstruction takes into consideration complex interactions among environmental factors such as temperatures, food supplies, and degree of solar illumination. Often much of this information is lost or distorted by the fossilization process or diagenesis of the enclosing sediments, making interpretation difficult. The environmental complexity factor is normally tackled through statistical analysis of the available numerical data, while the study of post-mortem processes is known as the field of taponymy. Much of the original paleoecological research has focused on the last two million years, because older environments are less well represented in the fossil timeline of evolution. Indeed, many studies concentrate on the Holocene epoch, or the last glacial stage of the Pleistocene epoch. Such studies are useful for understanding the dynamics of ecosystem change and for reconstructing pre-industrialization ecosystems. Paleoecological studies are used to inform conservation, management, and restoration efforts. In particular, fire-focused paleoecology is an informative field of study to land managers seeking to restore ecosystem fire regimes. All organisms are adapted and restricted to a particular environment, and are usually adapted to a particular lifestyle, essentially all organisms depend on another organism, whether directly or indirectly, the fossil or physical records are inherently incomplete, the geologic record is selective and some environments are more likely to be preserved than others. Taponymy affecting the over- and underrepresentation of fossils, is an extremely important consideration in interpreting fossil assemblages. Uniformitarianism is the concept that processes that took place in the geologic past are the same as the ones that are observed taking place today. In paleoecology, uniformitarianism is used as a methodology. Paleoecologists make inferences about ancient organisms and environments based on analogies they find in the present. <laughs>